Yesid Hamala is now a Jewish town with less than 2,000 inhabitants. The Abu family immigrated to Israel from Algiers to Safed in 1817, a wealthy, government affiliated family with strong religious beliefs. In 1870, Yaakov Abu bought the lands from the Bedouin tribe of Zabid. A number of families established Moshava, an agricultural farm, on the shores of Lake Hula and called it May Marum. They lived without houses, with financial difficulties and malaria. Eleven years later, after the riots in Russia, members of the First Aliyah, members of the Hovivi Zion movement from Eastern Europe, led by Ephraim Fischel Solomon, bought the land from the Abu family, with the aim of establishing a village called Moshava. Several families joined, and Solomon gave the name Yesid Hamala from the verse in the Book of Ezra. For upon the first day of the first month began he to go up from Babylon. Life was extremely difficult with hunger, malaria, lack of financial support, and the possibility of obtaining a building permit from the Turks. Rabbi Yaakov Abu tried his best to help, believing in the future of the place. In 1887, Baron Rothschild took over the Moshava, his officials obtained building permits and houses were built. The agronomist Nisim Bor El Harif was brought in. And on his recommendation, they grew roses to produce perfume and mulberry trees for silk. Despite all the economic difficulties, and especially the death from malaria, the settlers managed to survive thanks to their faith in the Torah and the settlement of the land of Israel. During the riots of 1929, the residents abandoned, and Arabs destroyed and looted the village. The settlers returned and continued to build and develop the place. In 1937, Members of the Working Youth Movement, with the help of the Yesid Hamaala members, came up on the land of the Yeshiv Hatshara and established Kibbutz Halada. They engaged in field cultivation, grazing, and fishing. During the War of Independence, the settlements were bombed. After the establishment of the State of Israel, the Mashiv S. de Eliezer was established by the residents of Yesid Hamaala and new immigrants, in the name of Eliezer Rothschild. The Baron's grandson. Following the drying up of Lake Hula, the settlements received land that helped them develop. Since then, the settlements have been established while preserving their past.